November 11, 2005. I'm John Donvan. This is Nightline. Tonight, a Veterans Day mystery story. A body found frozen in a California glacier. It's a mostly intact body. It's probably 80 to 85 percent complete. What's he missing? He's missing one leg. It is a tremendous mystery. A puzzle for the experts, the military's version of CSI. For all these years, 60 years, we have, we've known about it. We never knew what happened. Tonight, cold case, frozen in time. We're doing this one tonight for Veterans Day and in recognition that every veteran has a family. Imagine an old story in, in your family about the uncle or the cousin who went down in a plane during World War II. Not overseas, but here at home in California. It was a training mission. The story you were always told was that searchers found practically no remains when they finally reached the crash site in 1947, the site where four men had died. Now imagine that six decades go by and then only last month, some mountain climbers stumble across the body of an airman from that same crash. The mystery now could he be that relative you'd always heard about, the man whose body was assumed lost forever? It's a mystery story told for us tonight as a detective story, as Veterans Day draws to a close, by ABC's Bill Redeker. Well, I've got some teeth, so we do have a cranium. On a remote mountaintop in California's Sierra Nevadas, a high mountain rescue team carefully digs through generations of snow and ice. They are uncovering a man frozen in time. Entombed in ice, his remains were discovered by chance a few days earlier by an ice climber scaling the nearly 14,000-foot Mount Mendel Glacier. We spoke to Michael Nozell by telephone. I think that we were meant to be there to find that body that day because it was, it was just a very, very strange feeling. National Park Service rangers tried to recover the body when first notified. But dangerous Arctic-like conditions delayed their mission. It took three days. A lot of snow, a lot of ice, um, not much daylight um, enters the canyon, um, real cold and windy. Removing the cryogenically preserved body was a delicate and arduous task. He's face down. We saw the, the parachute on his back. Uh, you know, we saw his head and um, one of his arms was visible immediately um, after, after we moved the snow away. The night before, a half foot of new snow had fallen and covered the body. It could have been buried and lost once more had it not been for the ice climber who took GPS coordinates of the exact location. So we uh, chipped away the ice and pillared it up on like a pedestal and then we broke the pedestal under, underneath it and transported the body that way. Now freed from the glacier, the 460-pound block of ice containing the body was carried by helicopter down the mountain to begin the identification process. Everyone had the same question. Who was this man? It's a great mystery, and it, it'll be fun to unravel.